what is up youtube today we're looking at hades 2 this is a, a brand new game it's early access from super giant and it the first game was a super smash hit the game is super fun i never actually finished a full run um, i played it a ton and then just got distracted like i normally do but uh incredible gameplay and it's uh it's a rogue like and so you can go through and replay, 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 but you get to keep any upgrades that you go through and uh, unlock. And so as you go room to room, defeating boss to boss, that's how the gameplay goes in a rogue like. All right, so let's look at the trailer. Let's look at some of the gameplay and uh, check out what Hades 2 looks like. So kick off the trailer now. Here's the mine like a refreshing soak. Care to accompany me? Why not? You'll flourish here. Be free. So what's up? I fall upon the moon and draw you down. I vow to shine for you. Don't be afraid. Eternity. Don't forget all that the Titan took from you. The family has your back, surprised as they are about this. Which way? I can do this. battles yet to come. I would like to see you try. And there we go. That is a look at the trailer for Hades 2. So um, a few things that I'm excited about. A few things I'm excited about. I saw maybe some fishing in there. That's really cool. It looked like we had some familials, so like taming some pets, maybe get some powers from that to help us as well. Um, crap, like farming materials um, for crafting. That looked to be new as well. So the first game, basically, you were in um, you were in hell, right? And you were bound to appease the gods, right? And go through and uh, unite with other gods and, and basically escape from this hell. And your father, Hades, did not want you to do that. So it looks like we're extending more to the, to the family this time. Um, we're working with Zeus and the other gods. Kind of like we did in the first one, we worked with gods to help give us, give us powers and basically escape from our reality and we're doing it again this time so they've expanded upon the gameplay but they kept the core principles the same which is fantastic i love that in an expansion of a game so excited to hop in and play through this one let's go ahead and boot it up and get started in our little playthrough of hades early access 
redo. All right. So as mentioned, this is early access, which means they'll be working on it while you play the game. Some of these games stay in early access for a really long time, and it's not like a beta per se. Um, it's just a better way of them saying, hey, look, this game is probably 99 percent. We'll be doing some updates. And then it says they do have a roadmap coming up soon. So let's check that out. Let's check out that roadmap. Um, so, Hades 2 development roadmap, May 2024. We have early access, latest developments. Um, could have made the original Hades, if not for ongoing feedback. First major update will be later this year. Um, doesn't really say what it is. Beyond that, we expect to be early access at least through the end of 2024. It's too early to say when 1.0 will launch, but we'll get a good deal of early access feedback. Uh, all new region, we have Crossroads update, working on a system to unlock various cosmetic embellishments in the Crossroads, make it feel more like home. New main weapon, we have one more main weapon planned along with the new weapon aspect, so stay tuned. Also keep expanding the story, adding more music and artwork and building on and polishing what's already in place. Very nice. Remember, it's a work in progress, closing remarks, yada yada, um, done. Um, very cool. So let us uh, go through and play. I don't think I'll change any options for right now. I think we're good. Um, let's see, just tune down the volume just a little bit. Hit play, we have no saves. Perfecto. Alright. That scene. So this tale was only a matter of time. Death to Kronos. <laughs> See, it used to be, it used to be death to Hades. All right, I'm playing with controller. I do, um, sorry, I do feel like controller plays really well with this game. Um, so we have X. I'm using an Xbox controller. So X is like main attack. Um, Hitting the button X three times gives us like a nice combo. You can hold it. Uh, if you hold, you have a charge attack. There you go. Speed burst is our uh, A button. B feels like we're putting down a like a special attack. So uh, the, if you never played Hades, the timing in this game is impeccably important. So. Uh, knowing what move to use and when, it's not just a hack and slash, it is a timing game based on you getting out of the way of things and then using an attack on your way back from getting out of the way. So it looks like we have an element here where you can restore all of our mana. So, and then when we hit Y, looks like we have another, like our sort of Artemis attack. But if I hold Y, I can make it bigger and then let it go, but that costs 10 mana if I don't and I just shoot it. So this is like my close attack, that's with X, and then Y is like a longer attack, but it doesn't cost any mana unless I hold it. So uh, B is our mana attack and Y hold is our mana attack. Um, X hold. Oh, X hold costs us 20 as well. So charge attacks cost mana and quick attacks do not, it appears. All right. So we have kind of our first enemy. Do some quick attacks on him. So one of the key things in this game is doing like quick attacks and then when they're attacking, dash away like that. The bullets, we're going to finish them off with some extended attacks. 
can only restore your mana once you are See, he was charging up a dash and then as soon as he started to dash I can go through him and then you can see we got attacked there but I can go through bullets so that's really important in the game to understand that when they're attacking you can dash through it's almost like you're impervious and then when you get to another spot and land then you'll be able to uh, start attacking but you want to go through objects through enemies and through bullets uh, sometimes going away from the bullet is not it's not what you're looking for Right, so now we're picking up another spell. Apollo, God of Light. All right. Very cool. So we have three things to pick from. So when you level up or when you get new boons uh, in the original game, this is very similar. So you would pick one of these three things to help you go your adventure. Nova Strike. Attacks deal more damage in a larger area, so we get better AoE. We have Blinding Sprint. Sprint is faster and inflicts daze, so when you go through somebody, you're going to daze them. And then Lucid Gain while standing in your cast, gradually restore magic. So if you cast magic and you're standing in it, you can gradually get your magic back, your MP. So um, let's go ahead and... Let's do our lucid gain. All right. Now let's go restore our magic here. It looks like we restored it. So we're full. Um, all right. So we're going to proceed. All right. So we're casting that. So we restored our MP while we did that. Very nice. Not sure what this table is yet. We'll figure that out. So that right there makes them slow. Cool, so we got some kind of currency. And if I hit right button, press on. mostly used for unlocking arcana cards. We got ashes. That's what we picked up. So we can't do anything there. Where to? Um, it can either go that way or we can go this way. I'm not sure which way to go. The um let's see, we have some options here so you can see kind of the controls. So uh, we have attack, we have dash, cast, and uh, Y's are special. We have a hex and we have interact. I don't think I have any hexes available right now. So I kind of wanted to see uh, Lucid Game while standing in your cast, gradually restore. So this tells you your kind of passive uh, that you've got going on. And then we have Erebus Gloom. Typical for this place, look for a flower in your surroundings, mostly used for incantations involving dispelling and notifications. So, all right, so we need some more health, but for right now, the only, the, what we can do is day, like stop people with our magic, which is pretty cool. So that lets me regain. This is our special, yeah. I'm getting dangerously low. So you want to use dash to get close to somebody. You also want to use it to get away. Okay, that was like a shield. Took care of that one. All right. And let's charge up and shoot that. While I stand in this, I can recover. Okay, we tried to do a charge attack. 
didn't work too well. So you have to wait for it the entire time. We are probably going to die here. Ah, we died. Okay. Time cannot be stopped. So this is just part of the game, really. Um, you are going to die. You probably die a lot. And then you'll gain powers. But you reveal new things each time you die. But you basically start over from the beginning. Um, but you can usually keep the powers and things that you have. Some are level specific. Some will help you through kind of eternity, right? So this is going to be your home base. This is where you return to each time. And then you're going to go out and... Um, start the levels over again. Don't look away. Don't forget all that the Titan took from you. So this will be like our domicile that we'll come back to each time. We'll have our upgrades and other things. Boo. Boo. <laughs> uh oh. Mm hmm. Witch. Speak. <laughs> Listless shade. Yeah, sure. Which works for me in context. An assault haunting more than all, Dora. But I'd better run. Something I have to do. Yep. Let me go. Wow. She's like two faced. Kind of scary. All right. So we have a bookshelf. Doesn't really do anything. We have the listless shade, which we can talk to. Um, that goes nowhere for now. And we go in here, and there's a frog. We can confide in the frog. See what I get for staying out all night, Primus. Right, right. That's what you get. Okay, so nothing to do with them. Uh, nothing in the stone. Cool. So, uh, we looked at the ancient painting. We talked with the shade. We can go Stand this way. We have the crossroads. Ah. Let's talk to this person. Time four star hand. Mary a soul expected you to slay Melanoi. Night on a new moon, no less. But you accomplished something of great import. Okay. I lack such forgiveness for my failure, had Mistress Hecate. Hecate lives and Olympus yet burns while I'm back where I started. What is it I accomplished? You're here to speak of it. Recovered in body, if not in spirit. You've not failed. The voice Can acting, again, is amazing in this game. Grow stronger and complete your task. Death to Kronos. Yes. So our new enemy. Death to Kronos. 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 Salute. Be well, headmistress. And you, Melinda. Melanoi. So our main character, our heroine, is Melanoi. It's being purified. Looks like we have a cauldron, which we can unlock at some point in time. We have several people we can speak to. We have some more shades. Hail shades. Our fight is just getting started. Yep. Looks like we have our fishing pond. Okay. Doesn't look like I can fish yet. So we'll talk to these people. Hit a wall. Nemesis. It's insane that she's sending you out on foot all on your own. Right. Your skepticism's duly noted. All right. So eventually these NPCs start giving you other things. Crossroads. That haven hidden twixt the surface and the underworld conceals those still loyal to Lord Hades. Rightful ruler of the dead. Together we'll retake my father's realm. Mm hmm Right. Hello. Tell me you killed Odysseus. Master, drove your staff into his wretched skulls with a dagger in his gut. Uh, not that he died from that. Works on mortals, though. <laughs> I've nothing to report, Odysseus. Not yet. This is very cool. Well, you'll get him next time, I reckon. I love all the different gods and things they put into the game. It's really awesome. All right, who do we have here? Hypno Sleep Incarnate. Hello. We'll find 
find a way to wake you, oh sleep. I promise. Oh sleep. All right. Uh, so we have more shades down here, and then this. Ah, use the altar to grow stronger. Had mistress lent me the arcana. Cool. Press and hold attack special or cast to imbue them with magic. While you channel your moves, everything moves slower. So it looks like you unlock this one first because you have no, you have to unlock adjacent cards first. Okay, so go ahead and spin that. Now we can unlock these next. So each time we do one, adjacent cards will unlock as well. Cool. Deal 20% damage to foes in your cast. Very nice. After you exit a location, restore two health or twice that if you have no more than 30% health. Very cool. All right. So we don't have enough ashes to unlock. All right. Says meditate. The altar of ashes. Um... We already have this activated. Oh, I guess we had more. Gain twenty and twenty. Don't have enough for that. Yeah. So we had two. Where is the amount that we have? Okay. Yeah. So we still had some. Mm -hmm. And then what do we have here? Ah, this is where we get our weapons. Umbral flames. We need three silver, three cinder. And then a moonstone axe. We need 15 silver. Excellent. Don't have enough just yet. So we can upgrade the blades and we can craft blades. Just this staff bathing in there. Yeah, very cool. And I'm not sure what this is yet. I think we have a bench. Um, so this is where we go out or we can go up. I'm not quite sure if we can go up yet. Hello. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's start. But this is war, young one, and you are the best The only question is, are you prepared to win? I'm not so sure here, so let's see you give me 20. <laughs> Why does he have like a New York accent? Commander Skelenius, sir. Uh, strike Skelenius repeatedly. Oh, so he's like um a battle trainer. And then you can restore stuff. Got him. Nice. We just kill him. Ah. Why are we worried about him? He's going to come back. You see? Baba. He's back. So, did that unlock anything for me or was that just No. All right. That did not. So, we have that guy right there. So, we did all the things. Oh, yeah. We did. And what is this? Hey, where are we going? Oh, we're just looking. I'll see to that. No one is more prepared. Beyond the mists of Erebus, there should be a way down. Too risky heading through Elysium, and too risky to stay. All right, it's time. Okay, so that was just like a reflection on that. We got nothing back over here. And I'm not sure if we can go up yet. Uh, Sealed with wards. Alright, so I think we are ready to go out again and try again. 
So really, I mean, ah, oh, here we go. Headmistress told me so much about you, and now at last we meet. In the name. Cool, Demeter. I'll not lose her again. I shall freeze hell in its entirety if that is what it takes to get her back. You'll help me, won't you, granddaughter? Sure, why not? Ice flourish. Your specials deal more damage and inflict freeze. Oh, we got an epic one. After remaining inactive for one second, rapidly restore until you act. Ooh. See, that's cool. But I already get that when I do my move. Um, let's try... Ooh. Let's try this one. So the boon that I had earlier is now gone. Now I throw like a cyclone though. That is awesome. Okay. All right, what do we have here? The labyrinthine Erebus lie countless souls of the dead awaiting judgment. That shall never come. So each time you go out, something is going to be a little bit different, which is really cool. So you can cast to ensnare foes. So we'll check that out. Um, let's proceed. Man, the artwork and the imagery and everything is... So we do that. And we should be... We should be ensnaring foes now. If I hold it, ah, nice. There we go. Ah, we get 10. Excellent. We'll use those to buy more things when we get back. I need to recover MP. See, this time I don't recover MP because I don't have, what I do have is doing more damage. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Proceed with time or proceed with this guy. All right. Aphrodite. Even without my aid. Oh, your brother would be so proud knowing you're fighting for your kin. Yep. All right. Flutter strike. Your attacks deal more damage to nearby foes. Close up damage 80%. Whenever you use 30 mana, create a heartthrob. Heartthrob area damage. Or while you have at least 80%, you deal more damage. 10%. Uh, let's try that. Yes. Can I restore anything? This way will be ashes. This way will be that. Um, all right. So we got the plus two health because we had the boon. I don't like that they were attacking me while I was casting that. Ooh, doing a charge attack does a lot of damage. So the close-up damage boon is really nice. I like that. So we got six ashes now. Can't do anything with those. Um, let's go check this out.
See, I thought that was supposed to freeze them. of damage is really nice though all right palm of power let's see flutter strike goes to level two or ice flourish does 60 percent more uh let's do close-up damage kind of op let's get some more ashes Oh, that's not good. Definitely don't want to be near that. Does freeze them in place. It just doesn't have like an animation. Nice. Get five of those. Fish. Tool required. So those are places where you can fish. We don't have a tool yet. Fine. All right. Let's go. Alright, there's nothing down there. That breathing. Ooh. Who do we have here? It's Charon, our Stesian boatman. So every once in a while you would have levels where you come down in, and in between you would have the Stesian boatman come through and offer you things that you could buy. So to keep your levels going, you would buy stuff, either renew life or renew mana or whatever it is, and then keep going. Let's see what the old boy has for us this time. I'm in your debt, Lord Charon. These provisions surely shall make all the difference in my task. What gold I find is yours. All right. So we have 92 gold. We have not enough gold to buy any of this stuff. So uh, we're just going to have to move on and gather one of those bad boys. Um, if I go into here... Airless Gloom. Just lets us... I don't know if I can upgrade while I'm in here. This shows the cards that I have active. So I'm just hitting on the controller. I'm just hitting left and right button. Um, left button pulls up this menu and then you can navigate through it with the button. And then L LB and RB is taking me back and forth through the menu there. So... Um, this looks kind of new, so let's go ahead and, and do this one. Okay, immediately met by some enemies, so cool. Wow, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a lot more enemies in this room. Uh, can kind of freeze them a little bit. You want to be careful, when you're on your third attack animation, you kind of get frozen, so... Um, if you want to hit and move, do one attack. Don't do the third one. But if you think you're going to finish somebody off, go ahead and do the third animation. It just helps you be quicker in the game. All right. Gain 50 of that. Mm. All right. Inventory. So we can go check out what it is. Bones. Most, mostly used for trade for more valuable resources. Common reward for clearing encounters in Erebus and beyond. 
We have Ashes, which are for Arcana cards. And then we have Psych, mostly used to raise Grasp to activate more Arcana cards. Uh, we have a second tab, which is uh, Moly. And Moly is what I've been gathering. Um, I mostly used with incantations involving dispelling and nullification. So there we go. There's our two tabs of things. And then we have recent remarks. This is your transcript of like what you've done uh, with NPCs. So there we go. So now we can either do life or we can do mana. <clears throat> Let's do a life increase. All right. So, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's you. You're very fast now. They are very, very fast now. All right, I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah, you wanna... <clears throat> okay, she does run out. You kinda wanna freeze her. Because otherwise, you are gonna get annihilated. Yep, that is... Not cool, man. Not cool. All right. Terrain kill. Oh, terrain kill. Ooh, that was cool. I thought he said terrain kill. It's like terrain, really? All right. Send a big freeze ball that way and finish you off. Get this. Max life gain plus 25. All right. Sounds good. Cleared into the area. We haven't gotten to a boss yet, which is cool. Um, all right. Guessing there's one more. There is. Three hits kills those. We have a portal here. Mm. It says we can proceed. Is this just like an in-between area? So if you kill, shoot terrain at people, it can kill them, which is pretty cool. All right. So you want to use your cast when those get close. And that way you can trap them. Yeah, let's go. So that little guy is coin. Um, there's a portal there and there's a portal here. I could have proceeded before I even finished that. That was interesting. Um, let's go this way. So yeah, I can't forget about my special cast. Gotta hit B. So you can do that and then move, and that will get you more mobility. And because they stay frozen there. Then I can shoot them with ranged if I want to. If you hit B again, you can like, I think you can pick up your cast, or maybe it's just disappearing on its own. Maybe it was just a good timing thing for me. All right, there we go. Cast that so I can. Oh, he was able to go through my. That was supposed to freeze them, but it didn't. So. He was still able to do his move. The ranged attack on this doesn't do much damage. However, it is nice to kind of whittle away some HP while they are uh, at a distance. Cut. Collect reward. Oh, I didn't see the reward. My bad. Get that. Now we come over here and let's go this way. Let's see if we can get to the first boss. All right, we got... Hmm. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Nice, what did we get? Hestia. 
And here I was just about to burn this old blasted place to the ground myself. Now, here's a little warm up for ya. All right. So we got a warm up. We're already doing ice damage. Now we do some some fire stuff. Cast repeatedly inflict scorch on foes. Hearth gain rapidly restore magic, but you have minus 20% health. Burnt offering gain health and magic, but give up one boon selected by Hestia. She will say give up flutter strike. Mm. I don't know. Let's try smolder ring. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. Um, cool. So yeah, we're getting visited by our helpful vendors. Oh, this is a nice surprise. Welcome to the edge of Erebus. Well done, Millinery. Thank you, Headmistress Hecate. I could not have reached this point without your guidance. Mm -hmm. And in turn, you shall not pass this point without a demonstration uh -oh. of your capability. Demonstration. It's a test. You'd have us face each other here, even though my task has already begun. Your training shall never be complete. And I would know if you stand any chance at all against our enemy. Oh no. We have to fight the headmistress. This is uh, this is not good. Not looking good for the home team. Oh. <laughs> we did not have very much health, and that first thing that she did cast out a big wave, and I was definitely not ready for that. All right. Oh, headmistress. So let's see what changed within our little town. Do we change? Is it? Phineas, how can I ever beat the headmistress? Okay, so your message when you confide in your pets changed. Um, that's probably not going to change. Dora might be here. Mm, doesn't look like Dora's here. That's interesting. Or Dora might have moved. We have crossroads. Looks like we have... The rivers have a flow back there. Uh, that looks like something for later. We have something in the cauldron. All right. <clears throat> we have some things that we can concoct. Um, beseech the three fates to lend their aid in a time of great need. Not even the Titan of Time ought to be able to escape the fates may have a story for him, whatever that may be. Three fates, hidden daughters of Nyx, each accidental bit of chance is likely their deliberate intent. Uh, so for 10 bones, summoning of mercantile fortune, persuade the wretched broker to appear with whom you may trade for various resources. And then we have knights craft work, revealing gathering, reveal gathering tools within the silver pool, unlock them for silver and more. Okay. Silver psych and more. Interesting. Let's, let's do that. Awesome. Can we do more than one? We can. We can concoct both of these. Excellent. <clears throat> so does the vendor just appear here? Ah, there's the broker. Let's go. Um... Scheming Let's check this out. At the house of Hades, shades of the dead residing there, all scattered to the ends of the earth. Very cool. You shades are welcome here and safe. Boo. Boo. <laughs> all right. Hello, broker. Mm, so we have a uh, we have a broker here. Uh, we can buy. So if we take bones. We can buy ashes. So for 15 ashes, or for one ash, you can do it for 15 bones, five psych, or one fate fabric. Interesting. Let's get some psyche. Should be of use. Cool. 
So this is a bones vendor. <clears throat> you concoct a bones vendor from that. All right, let's see what the headmistress has to say. These dark cauldrons finally purified. Praise the fates. Speaking of which, are you as yet considering an invocation to them? I have my doubts that they would listen even now. If there's any chance the three fates shall aid us, I'll take it. Thank you for preparing things for me. Though I'm well short of freshly picked reagents still. Indeed. Mm, I'd offer such reagents if I could, but as you venture past this glade, look carefully along your path and you shall find them. Fate's willing. <laughs> yes, headmistress. Very cool. Let's see what Odysseus has to say. A good witch put you mm. the test out there, did she? Yeah. Quite an intensive teaching style, I always thought. She expects a lot from you, but that's just what happens when you have such potential. Then she must be disappointed with my results, although she's careful not to show it. Same as you, Odysseus. Mm -hmm. Come, I know how dispiriting it is to chart one's course only to lose one's way. We rarely get where we must go the fastest way we can. Yes. As long as we get there at all. That's right. All right. Mm. So we have, uh, we can meditate again. There's something else I need to do up in here though, isn't there? We have the cauldron. <clears throat> we cannot wake. Uh, we cannot wake them up. We have the shades. We could salute. Doesn't oh, seem to be doing a lot for me now. They're not going to help you, you know. Nemesis. The fates, I mean. They don't take pity on whoever asks. If anything, you'll make things even worse. She's buff, man. Maybe you just don't give your sisters enough credit. If they once aided my brother, then there has to be a chance they'll aid us. They have a stake in this, too. What, you mean their family? They couldn't care less. Too busy messing with everybody's lives, making it look like an accident. You mustn't speak of them that way. Yeah, quit being so rude. Jeez. All right. <clears throat> Let's go down through here and see if anything's changed. We have meditations. We have new cards. It says two out of tens, I'm guessing. So I'm guessing later you can probably do like no card runs, no help runs, um, lots of things like that. The Titan. Yes. Uh, while you have less than 100% magic, your attack and special deal 30% more damage. That costs 10 ash and we have six. So we can't afford any of these. Yeah, we can't afford any of these. Okay. So, hmm, these are our cards so far. The cards know. Excellent. And then we have something that we can do here. There's something new here. Ah, crafting. <clears throat> the crescent pick. Mostly used for unlocking main weapons. Silver. It costs one ash. Its engraving suggests a humility and restraint expected of its bearer. Pick. Excellent. The of the earth. So it sounds like we can start farming. Looks like we can start farming for silver, which is awesome. Silver spade, dig for that and a variety of useful reagents and other items. And rod of fishing, we need bronze and one fabric. Crescent pick we already have. So we're getting our tools. So now when we're out and about, we should be able to. So we did this last time. Is it asking me to do it again? Crossroads training grounds are watched over by fearless seafarer Skelemius, famed in death as he was famed in life. We cannot fail with such a genius on our side. Nope. So, I can't move. Being a shadowy 
lovely denizen of the underworld comes with certain perks, young one. Take, for instance, how when you dash, nothing can touch you. Yes, that's what I was explaining earlier. Are the unseen, at one with the darkness and the dead. I can evade anything, yes, but only for a moment. And even then, I can't prevail by dodging all night long. Yeah, I'd do it out of time if I was you. <laughs> See the little trail when you dash. Once it snaps back, you're good to go again. To go again. The shadow follows. So you can see the trail coming back to you. Very cool. Magic back to full. Restore magic. So we did our test and then we did another test. I don't know if it's just a slightly, there was a slightly different test that time. Uh, we can relax there. It's a bench. And then we can exit. We can't go up yet. So there you go. Well, I think that's going to end it for this uh, demo mini walkthrough. These series are meant to just kind of get you oriented with the game, learn some of the menus, commands, NPCs, things that you'll be encountering from here on out in Hades. It is going to be a rinse and repeat of things, but you're unlocking new weapons, unlocking more tools, unlocking new card skills. And each time you do that, you should be able to get a little bit farther in the game because you'll have more magic, more health, more things like that. So you're building upon your character as you go through. But each time you die, the cool thing about this game is they add like a little nugget of the NPCs change their uh, what they say. Sometimes they offer you different things. So embrace that as you go through. It's really fun. The story reveal of Hades 1 was, um, was really cool. You got to see how everything unfolded and each time you die you come back so death is really just a part of the game it's not really like game over but once you finish a full run beating all the bosses even then you'll still be unlocking things if it's anything like the first game and so that doesn't really give anything away because it's literally the point of the game is to go through beat everything die beat everything die rinse repeat but the game's journey is supposed to add new things to it as you go through. So I hope you enjoy your playthrough of Hades 2. Leave me a comment or anything uh, regarding the game if you want to see anything more. But for now, this is um, our walkthrough of Hades 2. And I will certainly be playing a ton more of this. This is, uh, this is definitely a, a double like on this game. So... See you for now and uh, see you for more game demos and reviews as we put those up on the channel. Stay tuned and subscribe for more of that if that is your thing. But for now, have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next one.